we're showing quite a new bit of products. Uh, this year we have our R1, which is our current machine that we're selling, and we're also showing our R2 machine and then our R2 mini machine. So we're creating our, we have our consumer model, we're creating a prosumer model, and then we're creating a very basic consumer model. Is we're gonna try and get under the $500 price point range. So we're pretty excited about that. The R2, which is the prosumer version, has a two-headed machine, so you can do multiple materials at once. We found out when we went to a lot of businesses that were looking for 3D printing services or looking to 3D print in-house, um, that they wanted to be able to do like a rigid material and a soft material all in one print. So you're able to do that from our R2 machine. Um, the mini machine was basically concepted directly from the R2 machine, and it's really just a basic, fun to use, simple printer with a, it has a touch screen on it, SD card reader, so you literally just pop in files, press print, and it's ready to rock and roll, so. And when we got into the space, it was about creating an affordable solution to 3D printing. Um, that's why we started building it in the first place, because we knew the power of the technology. And if we could share that with people, that was pretty powerful for us as well. Um, and now we're starting to see more price points coming down as competitors come into the space and things like that. So we're staying competi competitive in that front. And you know, as we start going into retail and stuff, we got to create a product and a price point that you know matches what a mass consumer would buy. We are working with a company called Spectrum. They're based out of Wisconsin. And what they do is they take our printer, which is a single head printer, and they infuse um, sort of a dye into the material as it goes through the system, and they can print up to 64 different colors on our R1 3D printing machine right now. So we're actually demoing the product in our booth, um, which is pretty cool, and uh, they're showcasing true full color from a single extruder 3D printer, which has never been done in the world yet. So what we're doing to really try and push the industry forward, it, you know, we're, we want to take steps. You know, at speed, one thing is re really something we're focusing on. Um, the full color is something that we were actually working on personally, and we met this group from Wisconsin and um, found out that they were pretty far along in developing this kind of technology. And I think when we bring this to market, hopefully with them um, on a product to have a full color desktop 3D printer that people can use in the house is gonna take the industry to a whole new level. And so that's kind of how we want to advance it. We want to add new features for people so when they get the you know the product, they, there's more things that they can actually do with it. Um, there's more content that they can produce and you know that's pretty important to us. And the same with the material side, we're printing with a lot of new materials. Um, testing everything that's on the marketplace, so that's definitely advancing the industry. When you start printing with things like stainless steel and bronze materials and copper materials, um, things that people always want, they want the metals and things like that, so. Our users have been using machines for all sorts of things. We have, you know, people that have been developing prosthetic limbs for kids, and, you know, one of our uh, customers that actually develops a prosthetic limb, it costs them $10 to make a prosthetic limb would normally cost thousands, so, you know, that side of it's cool. We have a lot of people that use it for household items. Uh, when you talk about replacement parts, needing things like that, um, organizers around the house, all sorts of stuff, people are using it for that. And then there's people that are using it in the traditional prototyping um, phase, which is why kind of this came into existence because you know it costs significantly less to make a prototype on a 3D printer before you go into mass production than to just go and design it in a digital format and then take it into mass production. So you get to see it, feel it, size it out before you actually take it and spend a lot of money on making tooling or anything like that. The rest of the, well, we're launching the two new products. We haven't done that yet, so we're pretty excited about launching those. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to integrate that full color this year. Um, and then we have some interesting projects that we're working on with a, a large format machine that we're thinking about introducing. So that machine will have a three foot by three foot by three foot build volume. So we've had a lot of requests for architectural firms and things like that that are looking to build larger format uh, models. So we're, we actually have a machine in our car right now in our U-Haul. Uh, that we haven't brought up yet and we're thinking about bringing it up tomorrow but we haven't done that yet um, but yeah that's kind of what, where we're going and on top of that we're also planning on building a marketplace for files and what we'll do in that marketplace is connect we're going to highlight the designers so we're going to connect users with designers that need something specific produced but can't model it themselves so they can hire one of our you know our amazing designers to help them just quickly and easily create a file